three in a row. Alright guys, so you might not believe it, but I've been sitting at the store for about the last hour just kind of waiting on the rain. It rained this morning. Rain enough to stop you, you know. And uh, I was at the store getting gas and uh, I just decided to sit and wait it out. So now you can see it's cleared off. Looks like the rain has moved out and we're gonna go and get started and see what we can get done. It's uh, 10.35, so I've been, uh, like I said, I've been just sitting there at the store. So what do you do on days like this when it starts to rain? Doesn't look like it's gonna be a big rain, but it, it's raining and it, it's now wet everything up. Would you sit and wait or would you go home? But here's a question for the video. I need everybody to tell me the number one reason that a client will let you go. Leave in the comments. The number one reason. And it may not be your mowing. It may not be your edge and your string trimming. I don't, I don't know. But give me your number one reason that a client will let you go. Up Skalanka is what we do. Enjoy the video. All right, guys. So this is going to be <clears throat> probably our fifth or sixth property for the day. It rained on us earlier. Still got the little remnant of where it rained. But we're at our next two, and we got both of these right here. Steel and rock consolidation got the we got that one right there. And we got that one. This one here, it's a little bit of a story behind this one. I got this yard last year and when I got it, uh, I saw the lady out in the yard. Uh, she had an electric lawnmower. And I and I, I was mowing this one, I just rolled over. And I asked her, I said, what are you doing? And uh, I said, what are you doing? And she said, I need help. And I said, you want us to do the lawn for you? She said, would you please? So, you know, guys, you, you never know. Sometimes people just want you to ask them. And you do the lawn. I just, you know, she was right next door. So she said she needed help. And then the yard was kind of grown up. And we did the yard for her. And I, you know, charged her a fair price. She's a, she's a widow. And come to find out, I know the lady went to school with her. Let me get busy. Both of these. Let me get after.
there it is. Got both of them down. And when we come back, we're gonna have, we'll start turning buses. We have but the rain held us up, so we're not gonna trim the bushes today. And when you when you're doing all that, guys, uh, it behooves you to uh, get with your client, especially if it's a client that doesn't do anything in their life. And just kind of let, let the client know that whatever the yard needs, you will be doing that. And you trim the bushes at your own discretion, but make sure that you trim them. Don't just tell them that, you know, and then you don't trim them. Make sure you trim them, but trim them at your own discretion, and that way you won't have nobody texting you or coming out saying, hey, when you gonna trim the bushes? There they are. So, tell me this guy, what are your goals for this season? Have you set any goals? Did, did you have any when you got started this year? One of mine was to get my route even tighter than what it is, with more, even more consolidation. I'm, I'm tightening my route down, route down to where I go to, I think it's five subdivisions in a week, and that, that, that's what I want. That's, that's, that's what I want to do. Those are the yards I want to do. You can have all the rest. Look at those stuff in there. This street we're on right now, we started at the end down there at the very end with our first two. Then the next two were the ones that uh, I'm going to be showing in a few minutes that you're going to see us mowing. And now we at that one. And we have this one. Right across the street. The last two were right next door. The other one was right across the street from each other. So, you know, that's what we're looking for. We want all our stuff nice and tight. And it's three o'clock now. Around five, we should be done for the day. We should be done for the day. And that's getting started late. We didn't get started until 11 o'clock or something right. Let me get started on these two. I'll bring you back to finish. Eight o'clock in the morning, early. Today is Wednesday. I got my tunes on. Let's cut some grass.
last one for today. All right, guys, this is the last one for today. We just finished this one. This is the new one. We just picked it up. You can check the details. Yeah. The upscale way. Lower Petlums. The Gustrums all the way around. Very nice, very nice. We move over to where you see the grass line. And it was not in bad shape at all. It wasn't cleaned up, none of that. Here's the back. It goes over to that building there. And your back goes to the little light deals there. <laughs> you know what I want to know. What would you get for it? And you like this mode. That little area right there. Right there. You like that mode. What would you get? And the reason I ask that again, I want to know what you would get because I may not be getting enough. Or I may be getting too much. I want to know. Leave it in the comments. Upscale Lawn Kids, what we do. See you on the next one.